Having a hobby is one of those things that's supposed to help you relax and have some fun after working or studying. With thousands of different hobbies, there's something for everybody. Some hobbies get you to make connections with people, learn new skills, or even travel the world, while others might just serve as stress relievers. We're pretty sure that you've already tried some of the most common hobbies, such as reading, listening to music, gardening, gaming, or exercising. But have you ever thought about trying some more, so to speak, adventurous hobbies? You might be surprised to see how many adrenaline activities have been invented to entertain those who find common hobbies boring. Some of them can't be called anything but downright dangerous, pushing people to the limits of what their bodies and minds can withstand. If the idea of increasing your adrenaline level sounds good to you, you should definitely check out today's video with 25 most dangerous hobbies you might want to try. I'm Mike with List25, and from hang gliding and whitewater rafting to skywalking and swimming with sharks, none of the hobbies featured in this video are recommended to those who are faint-hearted. Twenty-five. Also known as parachuting, skydiving is a popular adrenaline sport which involves a free fall at the speed of gravity and a controlled fall with the use of a parachute. These days, most skydivers are required to carry two parachutes, in case the first one fails. But fatalities still do occur in this sport, with about one death per 150,000 jumps. When the skydiver performs unsafe maneuvers, though, injuries might occur, even under a fully functional parachute. 24. The definition of deep diving might vary with certain categories, but in terms of recreational diving, a depth below about 30 meters or 98 feet is usually considered a deep dive, as it's where nitrogen narcosis becomes a significant hazard for some divers. Also, there's always the risk of running out of air and being attacked by some marine predators. 23. One of the most extreme sports, base jumping, is parachuting or wingsuit flying from a fixed structure. The word base is actually an acronym that stands for four categories of fixed objects from which base jumpers jump. Building, antenna, span, and earth. Due to the lower altitudes of the jumps, base jumping is significantly more dangerous than skydiving from a plane. Needless to say, base jumping is prohibited at many locations. 22. In recreational kart racing, drivers usually don't drive as fast as professional racers who can reach speeds exceeding 260 kilometers an hour, 160 miles an hour, but even driving at lower speeds of just about 40 to 50 kilometers per hour might be considerably dangerous as the carts are open and the driver has no protection at all. 21. Hang gliding is an air sport or recreational activity in which the pilot flies a light, non-motorized, foot-launched aircraft called a hang glider. Go figure. Usually made of an aluminum alloy or composite frame covered with synthetic sailcloth, modern hang gliders are much safer than those used in the past, but occasional accidents still occur. There is one deadly accident per about 116,000 flights. 20. Despite being considered an extreme and very dangerous sport, whitewater rafting has been increasingly popular in many countries all over the world. There are numerous dangers related to this hobby, including the risk of drowning, getting injured by rocks and branches hidden under the water, and heart problems caused by the adrenaline rush. 19. Although rock climbers usually use ropes and harnesses to increase their safety, rock climbing is still a very dangerous hobby. Injuries due to falls are relatively rare, but injuries caused by overuse are very common. To minimize the risk of injury while rock climbing, it's recommended to check your equipment prior to the climb, be familiar with the conditions of the rocks, check the weather, and consider your fitness when planning the climb. 18. Known outside the US as free climbing, free soloing is an even more dangerous version of rock climbing where the climber, or free soloist, performs alone and without using any ropes, harnesses, or other protective equipment, relying entirely on his or her physical ability. Free soloists typically climb above safe heights where a fall would always result in serious injury or death. 17. 
One of the most popular adrenaline sports, bungee jumping, involves jumping from a tall structure, such as a building, bridge, or crane, while connected to a large elastic cord. The thrill comes from the free falling and the rebound. In addition to all potential mechanical failures related to the cord, injuries are quite common, even when everything is right. The sudden change in pressure can damage the eyes and the pulmonary system, along with the risk of severe whiplash. 16. Similar to kart racing, motorcycle racing is also extremely dangerous, mainly due to the fact that there's nothing between the driver and the ground. Therefore, almost every motorcycle accident results in serious injuries and possibly even death. With the highest speeds exceeding 300 kilometers per hour, the consequences of an accident are mostly fatal. 15. An extreme version of tightrope walking, skywalking is a form of high wire, which is performed at great heights and lengths. A skywalk is performed outdoors, between tall buildings, gorges, across waterfalls, or other natural and man-made structures. If the safety ropes or harnesses fail, the Skywalker falls to the ground with a very slight chance of survival. You lose the high ground! Also, I was going to say, the Skywalker falls to the ground, usually with one of his hands cut off. All of the limbs? He only lost his hand. I'm talking about Anakin. Yeah, but he wasn't like, he didn't fall fall. He did a flip and, I mean, he fell, but not from somewhere. He Luke! He on his flip power! Sure, but Luke, like, really fell. He just went, we half dead. Uh, ow! <laughs> 14. Mostly practiced in urban spaces, parkour is an extreme sport which the person moves around, across, through, over, and under all kinds of obstacles. The activity developed from military obstacle training. Most injuries that occur in parkour are just superficial, but when performing more risky stunts, serious harm can be done to the person. Several deaths have been also recorded in this sport, mainly caused by falls while jumping between rooftops and onto refrigerator boxes, Andy. 13. Ice climbing is the activity of ascending inclined ice formations. Usually ice climbing refers to roped and protected climbing of features such as ice falls, frozen waterfalls, and cliffs and rock slabs covered with ice. Very popular among adrenaline-seeking mountaineers, this extreme sport is similar to rock climbing, but as ice is a more volatile and unpredictable material than rock, it's way more dangerous. 12. If you think surfboarding was dangerous, you've probably not heard of body surfing. In this sport, the surfer rides a wave without the assistance of any buoyant device, such as a surfboard or bodyboard. Body surfers typically equip themselves only with a pair of specialized swim fins to optimize propulsion. Body surfers are fully exposed to the force of the waves, as well as to any potential attacks by marine wildlife. 11. The most extreme version of mountain biking, downhill mountain biking, is practiced on steep, rough terrain that often features jumps, drops, rock gardens, and other obstacles. In this sport, bikers race at breakneck speeds down mountains and hills, running an enormous risk of mechanical injuries and broken bones caused by falls and pile-up collisions. 10. The most dangerous form of high diving, cliff diving, involves diving into the sea or a lake from a cliff. Cliff dives are considered extremely difficult and dangerous to perform, as they are very challenging both physically and mentally for the diver. Cliff divers often strike hidden debris and rocks while diving mid-air, and then under the water as well. 9. Also known as spelunking in the US and Canada, and potholing in the UK and Ireland, caving is an adventurous activity of exploring wild cave systems. As caves are very dangerous places to be around, there are many risks associated with caving, including hypothermia, falling, flooding, falling rocks, and physical exhaustion. Moreover, rescuing people from caves is often very difficult and time-consuming. 8. Running of the bulls is a practice that involves running in front of a group of angry bulls in a city street. This bizarre and extremely dangerous activity is practiced in Spain, Portugal, Mexico, and southern France. Up to 100 people are injured during the run each year. Deaths are relatively rare, but there have been several cases of goring that eventually resulted in death. 7. One of the most extreme holiday activities, swimming with sharks, is usually performed inside a protective cage, 
with the sharks outside of it. But the most daring swimmers actually get into open water with the feared ocean predators. It's needless to say what even a small shark can do to a human intruder. 6. Speaking of dangerous animals, some people actually keep them at their homes, deliberately. Venomous snakes, bears, big cats, deadly spiders, and even alligators. All of these extremely dangerous animals are known to have been kept as pets. In fact, a vast majority of exotic animals are not fit to be kept as pets, and even those who might be still pose a huge threat to their owners. To reduce the risk of an injury, good knowledge of the animal's behavior is a must. 5. Gathering mushrooms in the wild might not look like a dangerous hobby, but there are two good reasons why it can actually be a very dangerous pastime. There have been many cases of unsuspecting mushroom pickers being attacked by wild animals, such as bear, boar, wolves, and there's always a good chance that you mistake an edible mushroom for a poisonous one. In Europe alone, about 10,000 people die of mushroom poisoning every year. 4. DIY projects are among the most popular hobbies ever, but at the same time, they also rank among the most dangerous. The problem is that people in general are not as dexterous and skillful as they used to be, but they still have access to all kinds of tools and machinery. Superficial wounds are the most common injuries suffered when working on DIY projects, but more serious injuries such as cutting off fingers and getting shocked by electricity also occur quite often. Three. Not all of the most dangerous hobbies have to pose physical threat to the person. Investing in stocks is a good example of a hobby in which you can't get physically hurt, but it still might ruin your life. Once you become a stock trader, one really bad decision can make you lose all your money, which is likely to be much worse than a broken leg or a bruise. 2. There are millions of poker players all over the world. And for most of them, this gambling card game is just a way to have some fun and possibly make some extra money. However, there's also an alarming number of those who become too obsessed with the game, eventually losing all their money. These days, when poker can be played online, the risk of becoming addicted to playing is even greater than it was in the past. 1. Sports betting is also an extremely popular hobby, but similar to investing in stocks and poker, it's also ruined many people's lives by turning them completely penniless. Today, you can bet on practically any sporting event. Sports betting is also highly addictive, making losers bet more and more in hopes of winning their lost money back. So, have you tried any of these? Let us know in the comments below, or tweet your answer to us at List25. You? Uh, I do like looking at the stock trading. I just haven't done it yet. And in, in uh, middle school, we did the stock game. Uh, I've done whitewater rafting, rock climbing. I'm trying to remember some of these others. I also really like poker. I, I play poker. I've never actually gambled on poker. I've done it once. I just play for fun with just chips. Yeah. Didn't lose a lot of money, like five bucks. I haven't lost anything. Well. I'm trying to think what else. Yeah, I've probably done a lot of these. Oh, wait, I've gone whitewater rafting. Oh, yeah. What? Did I say that one already? Yes. Oh, yeah. Whitewater rafting and, and rock climbing for sure. Sun Country. They had a rock wall. Nice. Didn't use it. But oh, good. Cool. It was there. I'm glad it was. You All should right. climb. You should rock climb while investing in stocks. Enjoying our lists? Be sure to click that subscribe button on the bottom right and the notification bell so you don't miss out on new ones every Monday through Friday. Share them with friends and help us consistently conciliate curiosity. And if you want even more lists, check out these videos here or just head to our website at list25.com.